tell me about the Black Dark Gang. Let's talk. They're dead. You killed them. You killed the Black Dart Gang. It's a miracle. Here, please take this. Variner gave it to me. It belonged to his family. I'm sure they all want, would want you to have it. You have my thanks, and the thanks of Heriner's family and his spirit, and all the victims of the Black Dart Gang. You are the hero who would drown them in piss and shit. I'm... <laughs> wow, she gave me Veriner's ring? Oh my god, Nerissa Adis, are we married now? When we had last left the Nerevarine, he had taken young, new, hotshot, well, not even hotshot, young, new, hot on his heels, excitable, Urval, or Ur, Ur, Uvil, Dulni, down into the briny, terrible, wretched, stink filled depths. Yes, the Mornhold sewers, known by no other names than the most messed up place you'll ever find in the City of Light and Magic. There, they went on a excursion to discover the Shrine of the Dead, which had been reportedly taken over by even more vicious and foul beasts. Goblins? No. This time, it was Undeath itself that had struck out and put its claim upon the Shrine of the Dead, funnily enough. <laughs> it was a bit odd. But they went there and rid them of these strange, powerful liches that were in the area. Profanes, they were called. What were they doing there? What were they up to? They didn't give a shit! They killed them all! And took the place back for the name of the Tribunal Temple, indeed. And there, Uval Duran... <laughs> Mr. Dulney went and cleansed it using his powerful priesthood-like magic, and everything was A-OK. -okay. And then they left. But not before leaving had they heard tale from Variner's ghost. Indeed, the ghost of the very widow that the Nervarine had encountered not long ago. The very ghost that had been slain in his corporeal form by the Alexi Black Dart Gang. <laughs> <laughs> and now it fell to the Nerevarine to avenge that ghost and wipe out the rest of the Black Dart Gang. This is the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind Tribunal. Welcome back! Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> God, I, I heard that one time before. I, I never knew that was even in the game. Man, Justice Tribunal has just introduced, like, a slew of incredible new dialogue, right? <laughs> it's so good! All right, but yes, indeed, we need to head on back down into the sewers to meet up with Variner's ghost. Let's see here. I spoke with Variner's ghost. He told me a way down, a way to drown the Black Dart gang in their hideout by flooding the room. But first, I have to find the mechanism. It's a lever that looks like a torch holder. If I pull it down, the room will flood. The mechanism is on the wall, somewhere at the east end, at head height. But I must be careful not to get too close to the gang, or they will kill me. The hideout is in Old Mournhold, Temple Sewers West. Mmm, Temple Sewers West. An area which we have been to, and we may have wiped out one of their gang members. But now that poor old Urval Dulney, yeah, Urval Dulney isn't with us, we can now safely trek down there. Let's head on down and head on in. Here we are. Now this way, in fact, let's, let's call Gordon out. There you go, Gordon. Having a good one. Oh shit. Here into the basement. We're accessing it from the other, ra uh, other route, the other side. There we go. Down into the sewers we go. A return trip. I think maybe we'll save the Super Lich for later, right? Because they're kind of like Maybe we'll, we'll finish off Tribunal with the Super Lich's quest, right? Gedna, Ravel, or whatever their name is. Because they're... I think they're one of, if not the, toughest enemy in the entire game, right? So I think that'd be a fun way to finish up Tribunal, I'd say. There we go. And they, also, there's no chance that I forget about that person, right? There's no way I forget that. All right. Let's see here. 
So we need Temple Sewers West. Was it? Let's double check here. Temple Sewers West. Okay. So we are in Temple Sewers. There they are. Up to the north, weirdly enough. How do the sewers work? It's magic. <laughs> Another mysterious puzzle. Another strange contraption and machination of the tribunal. Just as there was Vivek's puzzle canal, so too is there the sewers. <laughs> Let's head on in here. Enter sneak mode. Sneak mode activate. Ready the hammer. Let's see. Ooh, look. It's been cleared out. Let's begin. Let's see. Or it has not been cleared out, I should say, <laughs> on our mini-map. Has it? Let's see, is there anywhere? I don't think so, no. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Man, we may want to activate our stealth unit here, just in case, so we don't get wiped out. Let's see, activate this, in fact. Let's go around this way. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm stuck. All right. Let's give a look inside of this crate. Nope, nothing, nothing, nothing. Down here. Oh, what could it be? But some assassins, just as well. And we need to be on the lookout for... Could this be it? <gasps> Is this it? No, it's not. <laughs> Uh-oh, there's a lot of them. Let's see. Notice, though, that none of them you can actually take the torch off of, right? As is typically the case in old Morrowind land. This time, no siree. There we are. And let's poke on down here. Yo, are they even home? Where is the Black Dark Gang? Is this the right place? <laughs> Black Dark Gang, Temple Sewers West. Okay. The mechanism is on the wall somewhere at the east end at head height. Huh. Okay. East end at head height. I mean, is this it? Is this head height? That's a little bit above head height, right? I don't think that's right. Okay, maybe there is no torch inside of it. But rather, it looks like there should be one. But alas, there is nothing. <gasps> oh, there they are. Oh, shit. <gasps> it's them. <laughs> Alright, let's do a quick save here. Just in case we get obliterated. Let's also, here, activate... Ooh, our fun amulet. Right? Amulet of Shadows, I choose you! Pew! Stealth mode activate, baby. Let's see. <laughs> By the eastern side, it says... Oh, God. Wow, we have to get really close to them. Oh, good thing they can't detect me for shit. I'm the sneakiest dude ever. Okay. Is this it? Oh my god. Oh, I have to go right by them. Fuck me. <laughs> Is that it? Is that the torch holding unit right there? Shit, I hope not. Okay. Oh fuck, I'm gonna keep going. I'm going around behind him. There we are. <laughs> Is this good? Am I going the right way? Let's see. Yeah, we're going way too west, aren't we? Let's see. But first, I have to find the mechanism. It's a lever that looks like a torch holder. The mechanism is on the wall somewhere at the east end. At head height. Yo, we have not gone to the east to Morrowind at all, dude. We're in the western end of this. Alright, you know what? Let's poke around over here. We'll just quietly sneak right by him. Could this be it? Right here? Let's enter first person again. Is that... No? <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. This? No. Oh, shit. Maybe this. This one right here. Look, it's even hovering. In a way that clearly denotes it's gotta be the one. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, where could it be? In the eastern end? What the hell? What are you talking about, dude? Let's see here. Let's reactivate our, our Gordon power and turn back on the lights, all that stuff. Good. The eastern end, it's one of these? How do I know if it works? I'm assuming you'll have some sort of imagery. Oh, is this one it? No. <gasps> this one. <gasps> 
torch lever right by the entrance. Oh my god. Who even builds this, right? Well, time to turn on the poop valve. Oh shit, you can hear it. Oh shit, what? Oh my god, are they really gonna flood? <laughs> the fool the joke's on them, fools! <laughs> Cause we can survive underwater. That's right, and I can also breathe here. Wow, so are the entire sewers now flooded? I can't believe they built this. <laughs> There's just one little lever. You pull on it and suddenly... Whoa, I hope you like piss and shit. You're covered in it now. It's everywhere. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. It truly is a city of light and magic. <laughs> All right. Well, right about now, they should be drowning to fucking death. <laughs> Let's go take a look at their bods. Let's see. Should we quick save just in case they haven't drowned to death yet? Here we go. Let's do it. Let's see. <laughs> there they are. Dead as hell. Wow, look. Burned out torch. I can take this just as well. Ooh. Black Dart Ravine. What have you got, friend? Oh my god, he's got like a million black darts. Look at this. Ten poison damage over two minutes. Five health damage over two minutes. Whoa. 10 poison damage over 30 seconds. Damage fatigue 20 points for 30 seconds. A carmine or carmine dart. Oh my good god. Spring darts as well, some of the best. Right? Here we go. I don't believe you ever find a way to make more. But they're one of the few reasons why you would want to even consider going thrown weapons, right? Well, I guess... It, maybe if you just find them fun, right? But sure, they're fun for a bit. But incredibly difficult to use as, like, your main weapon, right? Takes a lot of work. Or mods. <laughs> or just dupe it with your freaking console commands. Hey, get it. All right, let's... You know what? It's quicker if we just make them completely naked and then take all their shit that way. There we are. Good. Oh, my God. Drowned by the poop. Instantly killed by a wave of piss and shit just flowing after them. <laughs> what a white way to wipe out the Black Dart Gang. Oh, man. If only they knew that there was a single lever, a single hidden switch that covered them all in piss and shit. <laughs> oh, their ultimate Ar Achilles heel. <laughs> no, not the piss and shit lever! Get, get him away from there! It's right by the entrance! <laughs> all right, let's take all this. It's really just like the... It's the moral and equivalent of having a grand piano or like a <laughs> a fucking what do you call it a an anvil fall on your head. <laughs> wow, look, some adamantium cuirass as well, covered in piss and shit. I love it. All right, Maylar's stuff. Oh, adamantium boots. Oh my god, everything in here piss and shit flavored. Mmm, the best flavor. Look at Gordon, able to survive in these piss and shit depths. All right, over here, someone else's stuff. Warning! Three exclamation points. This is my box, what I keep all my stuff in. Stay out, or I will make you dead like Geiler's pet Durzog, what stopped moving after he sat on it. Why would he sit on it? What a fool! I guess we'll take this. Look, a steel dagger here as well, to keep the note button down. There we are. Wow, he keeps heads in here? What a weirdo. And one black dart. This is his stuff? <laughs> all right. Let's see, what else is down here? Some bottles, glass, all this stuff. Gold, iron bucket. <laughs> These must have been his poop buckets. And if they weren't, they sure as hell are now. Oh, look, there's also a journeyman's lockpick. Jeez, I need to turn on the lights here. Let's see. Magic. Let's get some... Oh, good god. There we are. Restore Magicka. Great. Okay. Do we see any more lockpicks? A probe? That's good. I'll take that. Over here, some more gold. Some clothes. Glass goblet. Okay. Man, imagine if there were actually water physics and you flooded this entire place. It would just break the game instantly. <laughs> 
<laughs> if the, the water level went up. If anything, I'm more surprised that they were able to even figure out how to get that water level effect to even occur. You know, when we when I was first reading about it, I thought that this would be something that happens off off camera or whatever, right? Like it would it would be like the switch is in this room, and then you come back to the old room, and holy shit, suddenly it's filled with water because they you know they do a trickaroo. But no, that shit really went up. I can't believe that's even in the game. All right, let's go over here. <laughs> Just in this very much in the same way that I can't believe <laughs> there's even a piss and shit lever. <laughs> My god. All right. Anything over here? And where does it all come from? Where does it all come from? Maybe you just go to pull on this lever and suddenly everyone in all of the City of Light and City of Magic instantly given like the ultimate super laxative, some super colon blow or something, and then they all have to piss and shit at the same time. And holy hell. It's like those old urban legends where if you flush all the toilets in your school or your building or wherever at the same time, then you raise the water level up to maximum and it kills everyone with a piss and shit flood. Oh my god, it gets rid of the Black Dart Gang hiding out at your at your place of work. <laughs> mm, it's the only way! Alright, and better yet, how did Variner's ghost know about the piss and shit lever? Oh my god, we're, to, we're gonna come back to his wife and she's gonna be like, Mmm, Navarine, you smell like piss and shit. Oh goodness, just like my husband did all those years ago. <laughs> back when we first met, old Veriner, he would come home late at night after his work, down in the old sewers, coming back smelling like piss and shit. Oh goodness, you smell just like him. Oh, woe is me. <laughs> <laughs> and I made love to him that night. Every night when he smelled like it, it became a bit of a Pavlovian response. Every time I would smell some piss and shit. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Veriner's wife. Veriner's widow. What the fuck is even her name? I can't just refer to her as Veriner's widow. <laughs> Let's see. What is her name? Is it Anya? No. <laughs> what is her name? <laughs> it's not Anya. Oh, God. What is her name here? Options. Let's look under quests. It would be, oh, uh, what's it called? The Black Dart Gang. Narisa Adis. Yes. There we go. Okay. Oh, wait. Where is she at again? We actually, we, we need to find her again to turn this in. Let's see. In the bazaar sewers. Okay. So do we need to head on back up and out of the temple sewers? Let's see. Man, it is a good thing we didn't have Ervil with us at the moment, because he would have... Holy shit, he would have been wiped away by the great piss and shit flood. Good God. <laughs> it fucking reminds me of that, that uh, Always Sunny episode where they're, like, crawling through the sewers and stuff, and the piss and shit... <laughs> It must be real! Is this real? Is there, like, real piss and shit floods that you have to watch out for? I thought that was just, like, a bit in the show, but... Man, if it's in Morrowind, fuck, it has to be true. <laughs> Let's head on up and out. Let's see. <laughs> up over here. <gasps> fuck, Morrowind has just taught me so much. Jeez. <laughs> what a fucking educational game. If only I could have read it when I needed it most. <laughs> okay. Let's look over here, arch cannons, all that. Yeah, let's just get out into the greater city. There we are. And move on over here. Great. Oh my god. Everyone's like, toilet system is just running perfectly fine, but at the same time, one corner of the city has smelled really, really fucking bad. <laughs> like, oh my god. Today, the, the end, it smells like it's just on top of a lake of piss and shit. <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> Why does it smell like piss and shit everywhere? <laughs> oh, God, what a great quest. What a great lever, honestly. We've pulled a lot of levers in, all, in every game that we've played for this channel, and honestly, in every game that I've played in, in my life. There are few levers that compare 
to a lever that just floods your enemies with piss and shit. <laughs> Trying to think of, like, the top ten greatest levers you can pull in a video game. This is it. The new top ten from Game Ranks or whatever it is. Watch Mojo's top ten video game levers, levers, levers. Number one. It's the piss and shit lever from Morrowind Tribunal Expansion. You pull the lever, everyone dies from piss and shit. It's great. <laughs> My god. Oh, I got this YouTube shit on lockdown, baby. <laughs> Let's see. Who, <laughs> what am I doing? I need to get down to the sewers, right? Hmm. I was born amidst the piss and shit, and now I shall return. Ooh, I'm the phantom of the sewers. The phantom of piss and shit is here. Let's see. <laughs> How do we even get to the sewers from here? I can't even recall. Oh, here we go. Oh, great. All right, let's do a quick save just in case. We go on down here. And all of a sudden... Oh, no, Narissa, she's been flooded by the piss and shit. Oh, <laughs> oh I love it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Frankly, I think... Oh, no! Oh, it's Anya. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> Honestly, piss and shit. <laughs> it's a great thing to say. Love it almost as much as saying titty spider from Oblivion. <laughs> Let's see. Palace sewers. No, no, no. She was in the... In these sewers, right? Let's see. Narisa Adis in the Bazaar sewers. Right. Okay. We are in the right area, roughly. We just need to find her. Okay, sounds like there are some bone men who walk again. Walk amongst us. We'll slay them with our mighty hammer. There we go. Uh, pew! Got him in one. Okay, where might she be? I don't think up there. I think more likely it's over here. Further west. Let's see, ooh, shit. Oh my god. No wonder the undead were probably trying to piss and shit everyone off. Holy hell, they're immune to it, of course! Of course they are! They have no sort of orifices to sniff or ingest the piss and shit themselves, so they're naturally immune to it. Just as the Argonians of Black Marsh are immune to foul diseases, so too are the foul undead minions of Cold Harbor. Are they immune to piss and shit? Beware! <laughs> let's, let's heal all this up. Pretty sure that's just the plot to ESO, right? <laughs> the, the, the core campaign. <laughs> Moloch Balkan down to some piss and shit shenanigans. Uh-oh, there he goes again. <laughs> he really is gross. All right, let's do a quick save here. Narissa. Oh, my God. Guess what? What do you want of me? I, I helped your, your ghost husband. Your husband ghost. I've saved him. Verner, I've... Or I've avenged him. He's still a ghost. I didn't save him, but he... <laughs> I helped him. He had this dope plan to drown all of the Black Dart Gang members single-handedly with the pull of a single lever and kill them all with piss and shit. Narissa Adis, I've done it! Beware the Black Dart Gang adventurer. They've <gasps> robbed me of everything I hold dear. Oh my god. The b <laughs> Let's talk about Verner's ghost, actually. Thank you for bringing me the message. I'm too afraid of the Black Dart Gang to try to hunt them down in their lair, but perhaps now that Verener has delivered his message, he will be free to pass on to join his ancestors, <laughs> rather than hanging out in a sewer. I, maybe that's why he hung out in the sewer, right? Instead of like in a graveyard or the family tomb, his ancestral tomb, right? Maybe he went to the sewer because he's like, Ooh, my secret lever that I installed in the ancient sewers. It must be used to avenge me. <laughs> Tell me about the Black Dark Gang. Let's talk. They're dead. You killed them. You killed the Black Dark Gang. It's a miracle. Here. Please, take this. Verener gave it to me. It belonged to his family. I'm sure they all want, would want you to have it. You have my thanks, and the thanks of Verener's family and his spirit, and all the victims of the Black Dart Gang. You are the hero who would drown them in piss and shit. 
I'm... <laughs> wow, she gave me Varener's ring? Oh my god! Nerissa Adis! Are we married now? Are you my new wife? Wow! Jesus, you drown a gang of bandits in piss and shit and suddenly... Ba-boom! You're married to Nerissa Adis! <laughs> what does her... his ring do? Why would you give me your husband's, like, wedding ring or whatever? <laughs> Why would you give this to me? <laughs> well, I must accept. <laughs> Let's get married. Thank goodness there's no one else in this city that would be jealous by that at all. No, no one else would have a problem with this. <laughs> and if they do, Nerissa... I know just the perfect thing we can do. <laughs> That's right. If anyone objects to this marriage, we'll lure them down into the sewers and drown them in piss and shit just as well. <laughs> we'll start a new gang, Nerissa. You and me, baby. We're starting the piss and shit gang. What? How will they stop us? We'll be unstoppable. <laughs> They'll have to call Molag Bal himself out to send his undead hordes to stop us. <laughs> Necromancers, they'll be the only thing we have to worry about, and they're outlawed here. <laughs> Fairner's ring. Charm 1 to 50 points for 5 seconds on touch. It really seems like it's some sort of wedding ring. <laughs> Narissa, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, gosh. You have my thanks, and the thanks of Varener's family and his spirit, and all the victims of the Black Dart Gang. Mmm, indeed. Also weird that... The thanks of his spirit. Also, where is his family? Can we find his family somewhere? Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. Maybe they're all dead. Maybe they've all died. Alright. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's at least get a little bit more of this main quest going on, right? We need to do some clerical work, don't we? When I told Nerissa Adis I killed the Black Dart gang, she married me! What? This is my wife now! <laughs> oh my god, my wonderful piss and shit wife! I love her! <laughs> Hell yes! <laughs> Oh god, I'm in a fucking mood and a half. She was very grateful, and she gave me a ring Variner gave her. It was her wedding ring! We're married now! <laughs> oh, how do I leave? <laughs> Get me out of here. The fumes from the piss and shit have, have destroyed me. Every time we come to the sewers, one day it's goblins, the other day it's piss and shit. Oh, will it ever end? <laughs> it's the only way to cope with sewers. I hate them so much. This is my coping mechanism. <laughs> is to talk about goblins and drown people in piss and shit. It's a, it has to be done. It's the only way. <laughs> Palace sewers. Oh god, is it over here? Please. Oh please. Mornhold Great Bazaar. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my gosh. We have to take a little dip in piss and shit, I believe. But here we are. Oh, nope, not yet. We, I don't think we did. Yeah, we didn't actually have to take a dip very much at all. We just had to trudge through it. Go through the slog zone. All right. Oh, incredible. Oh, there you go. There's Morrowind's water temple. <laughs> oh, there's always, always the annoying water level. And this time, oh, it's the best one. All right. Let's see. Where do we need to go now for this main quest? What did old What's-His-Butt have us do? <laughs> Let's see. Here, we can just go back this way. Gavis Drin has told me that Fedris Hlur would like to speak to me. Right, of course he would. All right. Let's see. Over here, Temple Courtyard. Plaza Brindisi Dorum. Right, we need the Temple Courtyard. <laughs> I'm on- I'm like on a piss and shit high- Oh my god, my children! My children have arrived! Yes, come to me! And meet your new mama! Yes, your piss and shit mama, Nerissa Adis. <laughs> oh, what will Anasi say? <laughs> we didn't marry her. We didn't get married to- to Anasi. <laughs> She's- She- we're just- we're just fuck buddies or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm her booty call. <laughs> Let's go on up here. Here we go. We're sharing a care! <laughs> oh, the scribs love it just as well. Listen to them. Screaming. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. 
Head on up here. <laughs> we, we go to ask a guard about rumors. I heard a whole bunch of people got killed down in the sewers. They were all covered in piss and shit. It was incredibly disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There we go. Oh, they're kissing. Oh, what cute scribs. Oh, look at them go. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, let's do a quick save here. What Fedris Lur. Within reason. All right, my good man, I've returned from the bowels of... From the bowels, <laughs> I've returned. Let's see. Drin sent you to me, priests. <clears throat> As it happens, there is another way. You may be of service to Our Lady Almalexia. Service to Our Lady Almalexia? I spoke with the lady earlier today, and there may be... Something that one of your skill will be able to help with. The Lady Amalexia would like you to retrieve a powerful artifact. Beryl Czar's Mazed Band. Oh, Beryl Czar's Mazed Band. Tell me all about it. All I know is that the goddess wants it returned. You'll find it in the ruins beneath the temple. Search to the northwest in the sewers. Oh, God, for real? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ruins beneath the temple. Yeah, okay, the ruins. <laughs> Search to the northwest in the sewers. There was a passage in the abandoned crypt that had been blocked off by a cave-in, but Almalexia had the area cleared. As for the item itself, I don't really see why you'd need to know more about it. If you must inquire, perhaps Gavis Drin can give you more details. Oh, and of course we need to get those details. Almalexia. Nope, stuff we've heard, Gavis Drin. Oh, look. No, never mind. We've heard that before. The Mazed Man. Okay, same stuff. Rumors? Any new rumors? Oh, can we ask about the Black Dart Gang? No. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Let's see. Rumors. Wait, what? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> when he, as soon as he said Widow, I was like, oh my god, is he really talking about the piss and shit gang? <laughs> about the Black Dart gang's piss and shit demise? No. <laughs> I thought Widow Zendis was going to have an estate sale to sell off some of that loot her late husband collected. She said she was going to sell off some things a while back, but I keep asking about it and she says she's still got a lot to do. All right. Weird. I can't remember if we had met up with the Widow Thendis or not. Goodness. Everyone is, like, looking for love or have lost love in the City of Light and Magic. Good God. All right. Just like these scribs. Oh. Gavastrin, Gavastrin, tell me about the... <laughs> tell me about... Our Lady's blessings upon you. About the... The Mazed Band. Ah, Fedris sent you to me, did he? You would like to know more about... Beryl Zar's Mazed Band. I suppose I can tell you something. Well, yeah, who is Beryl Zar in the first place? Yes, the Mazed Band. Beryl Zar himself was a powerful mage. Quite powerful, in fact. He created the band sometime in the middle of the Second Era, and soon after disappeared. No way, is he? Do you think he might be an ESO? Hmm. Maybe. I, I know that um, the Super Lich actually is the super powerful Gedna Ravel, or whatever your name is, is in ESO in some form or another. The purpose of the artifact is unknown to me, Lyle. All I know is that the lady wants it. I can only assume it will allow her to better minister to her people, though I find that hard to imagine. Oh... Yes, indeed. What could she want it for? Hmm. You'll need to retrieve the band from the temple ruins. Quickly, the goddess wishes to have it in her possession. All right, very well, very well. Okay. And we do need to go down into the sewer zone again, right? Drin tells me that the mazed band is a powerful ring created long ago by the wizard Beryl'zar. Drin says he does not know the artifact's purpose or the extent of its powers, but only that the goddess wishes to retrieve it. He assumes that she will use it to better minister to her people here in Mournhold. Okay. And the abandoned crypt. Yeah, I think I remember 
we saw that on the map actually not too long ago. Well, let's head on down. There we go. Another trip down to Shit City, baby. Woo hoo hoo, my oh. favorite, the sewers. There we are. Down through this. Good lord. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of amazing design. That <laughs> so many of the quests have you go right through that little area. <laughs> down to the sewers. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking wild ass concept. Okay, let's see. Over here? Yes, the abandoned crypt. And what is this? An ancestor ghost. Oh gosh. And a skeletal champion already slain by us. Let's do a quick save down here. Here we are. Good. And we'll be on our way. Ready to drive them out. Oh wait. Oh no, never mind. Those are urns. I thought there was some other person down there. I was like, whoa. Okay. Let's see over here. Abandoned crypt. Ooh, previously inaccessible. Ooh, you can hear. How did she even clear it out so quickly? Right? All right. The goddess works in mysterious ways. Doink. There we are. Gotcha. Let's pull out Gordon here. Gordon, give me the assist, friendo. There we are. Good thing they have no blast radius on their... Ooh, on their... Shock spells, right? It's all just like one meter or whatever. There we are. One unit of Elder Scrolls distance. There we are. Okay. Uh, take them out. Good. Gordon doing his part just as well, and I'm absorbing his power. Oh, shit. Here, can we rest? No. Let's move back a little bit here. There we are. Nope. We're not on solid ground. There we are, good. Okay, let's heal up until healed. Fantastic. And let's turn on our Kajito vision just as well. Good. All right. Abandoned crypt again. That's very strange that we're inside of the abandoned crypt, but can, <laughs> can yet go further into another abandoned crypt. Okay. Oh, sorry, Gordon. I have to check this dude's bod. Let's see. Oh, look. An iron spear. You know what? That's not what I thought that was. <laughs> Let's see. Eh, I guess I'll take the bone meal. Why not? I thought it was like some kind of weird probe that we'd never seen before. Or our lockpick, even. Bunch of extra heads laying around. Alright. Over here. Ew. Look, there's just a... <laughs> just a little bit of ruin right there. <laughs> just a triangle of it. Hmm. Okay. Sure, a bunch of rats. There we are. Get them out of there. What have we got over here? Some big tubes of some sort. What is this? This looks like a secret entrance if I ever saw one. Look. <laughs> Man, I've never seen anything more look like an illusory wall in my life. Okay. Thing over here. Let's kind of do our fun trick here. Just as well. Anything. I don't think there's anything down in this. Okay, let's also turn this back on. Good. It's just Gordon. Yep. Okay. Let's head on up and out. Oh, oh shit. Over this way then. Is there something hidden down underneath in this, like, crevice here? No, there's fuck all. Okay. Fair enough. We'll smash some more rats. Smash some liches. All right. There we go. Good. Liches get stitches. Okay, nothing else on you. A lot more ruination around here. Oh, we've looped. Time becomes a loop. Oh, look. They've got a little vape unit there as well. Oh, do you think there's something on top of that? Ooh, we've aggroed someone. Oh, shit. What? It's Barrels are still alive! Oh, my God. What the fuck? Are you like a zombo or something? You have no place here, child of living flesh. The mazed man must not be allowed to leave this tomb. The man should never have existed at all. That was my folly, and this is my curse. For all eternity, I am damned to walk in this half-life. To keep my creation from destroying the hearts and minds of mortals. Those who would challenge my fate will pay with their lives. Your journal has been updated. <laughs> Just whip out the journal. Barrels are still alive. 
He's looking like a freak. <laughs> Gonna kill him. All right. Oh, look at his head. Look at his fun head. Wow, he's got like a king's crown or something on him. All right. And his backup lich friend. There we go. Good. Ooh. Well, I'm sure this was no problem at all, right? I'm sure nothing ominous or bad will come of this. I mean, after all, why would I trust this guy when I could instead put my face in the tribunal, the tribunal, however you wish to say it? Oh my god, he had a Daedric Claymore. Huh, Berylzar's Mazed Band. Yoink. Can I even carry this? Whew, not really. <laughs> Good lord. Maybe I'll just leave it here on the fucking floor. Right? I mean, goodness gracious. I can't even move with this shit. Let's see. Can I do some repairs? Maybe I'll use up a hammer or something? Even then. Right? <laughs> yeah, no dice. Let's see. Do I have some shit I can just get rid of? I guess this travel lantern, right? I guess I don't need it. Let's see here. Anything else? I could drop a few eggs. There we go. Here. We'll put an egg on his- on his bod. There we go. Good. Right there. One for every... foot. And one for every hand. There we are. Beautiful. <laughs> it looks like he got weighed down by them. <laughs> like someone debuffed his strength, and then he got weighed down by four eggs. No! My strength is one! I can't even stand up! These eggs are too heavy! Oh. <laughs> Barrels are the great will die here. <laughs> what a fool. Stupid barrels are. All right. There we go. Oh my god, a chest of three diamonds. Goodness. A chest of eggs. Huh. A chest of soap and Scribs jelly. Mmm. All right. Holy wackadoo. Well, you know what? I think that's good enough for fucking now, right? When next we come back, we will continue, I guess, exploring a little bit of this abandoned crypt. But for the most part, we will head on back to the big city after our fun adventures down here in the... <laughs> the fucking depths. The wretched depths of piss and shit, right? But when next we come back, we'll do all that. And of course, if you'd like to stick around, we will be doing a little bit of reading. Goodness. Let's see here. What should we read? What's on my list of things we can even read? But, how about, huh, the Book of Dawn and Dusk? Have we really not read that yet? Jesus. Surely not. Maybe we'll read Overview of Gods and Worship. <laughs> right? How long is this one? It's medium length-ish. All right. An Overview of Gods and Worship in Tamriel. By Brother Hetchfeld. Editor's Note. Brother Hetchfeld is an associate scribe at the Imperial University, Office of Introductory Studies. Gods are commonly judged upon the evidence of their interest in worldly matters. See, this is also good because of where we are in this part of the quest, right? Talking about various deities and stuff. I wonder if he'll get into the tribunal at all. A central belief in the active participation of deities in mundane matters can be challenged by the reference to apparent apathy and indifference on the part of gods during times of plague or famine. From intervention in legendary quests to manifestations in common daily not life, no pattern for the gods of Tamriel activities is readily perceived. The concerns of gods in many ways seem to seem unrelated or at best unconcerned with the daily trials of the mortal realm. The exceptions do exist, however. Yeah, that's a fair point. Because very frequently do gods like manifest in the world of Elder Scrolls and all that, right? And have some sort of very, very easily evident way of them interacting with everybody, right? As they've said here. Uh... Let's see. <laughs> as I said right here. Uh, <laughs> but as I said here, they'll, they'll like appear in times of prophecy or bestow some magical relic. But at the same time, <laughs> there's times where people will be starving, right? The plague or famine still exists, right? They're, they don't stop all of it. But shit, Lord Dagon comes stomping through the Imperial City and suddenly fucking Akatosh is ready to jump his ass up in high gear. 
Many historical records and legends point to the direct intervention of one or more gods at times of great need. Many heroic tales recount blessings of the divinity bestowed upon heroic figures who worked or quested for the good of a deity or the deity's temple. Some of the more powerful artifacts in the known world were originally bestowed upon their owners through such reward. It has also been reported that priests of high ranking in their temples may on occasion call upon their deity for blessings or help in time of need. The exact nature of such contact and the blessings bestowed is given to much speculation, as the temples hold such associations secret and holy. This direct contact gives weight to the belief that the gods are aware of the mortal realm. In many circumstances, however, these same gods will do nothing in the face of suffering and death, seeming to feel no need to interfere. It is thus possible to conclude that we as mortals may not be capable of understanding more than a small fraction of the reasoning and logic such beings use. One defining characteristic of all gods and goddesses is their interest in worship and deeds. Deeds in the form of holy quests are just one of many things that bring the attention of a deity. Deeds in everyday life by conforming to the statutes and obligations of individual temples are commonly supposed to please a deity. Performance of ceremony in a temple may also bring a deity's attention. Ceremonies vary according to the individual deity. The results are not always apparent, but sacrifice and offerings are usually required to have any hope of gaining a deity's attention. While direct intervention in daily temple life has been recorded, the exact nature of the presence of a god in daily mundane life is a subject of controversy. A traditional saying of the Wood Elves is that one man's miracle is another man's accident. While some gods are believed to take an active part of daily life, others are well known for their lack of interest in temporal affairs. It has been theorized that gods do in fact gain strength from such things, as worship through praise, sacrifice, and deed. It may even be theorized that the number of worshippers a given deity has may reflect on his overall position among other gods. This, my own conjecture, garnered from the apparent ability of the larger temples to attain blessings and assistance from their god with greater ease than smaller religious institutions. Right, we actually read about this in another book, about some like ghosts and stuff, right? How they will do this. In fact, maybe this, maybe we did read this exact book? I'm not sure, in Oblivion, I think. There are reports of the existence of spirits in our world that have the same capacity to use, yeah, we may have <laughs> the same capacity to use the actions and deeds of mortals to strengthen themselves as do the gods. The understanding of the exact nature of such creatures would allow us to understand with more clarity the connection between a deity and the deity's worshippers. The implication of the existence of such spirits leads to the speculation that these spirits may even be capable of raising themselves to the level of a god or goddess. Mortu Mortusuo of the Imperial Seminary has suggested that these spirits may be the remains of gods and goddesses who, through time, lost all or most of their following, reverting to their earliest, most basic form. Practitioners of the old ways say that there are no gods, just greater and lesser spirits. Perhaps it is possible for all three theories to be true. Yeah, we've totally read this one before. Huh. Weird. Yeah, and yet it was still on my list. Oh, well, we'll cross it out now. Yeah, I totally remember reading this in Oblivion because it was so wild of a revelation that this is that you could potentially elevate just a regular ass spirit or whatever. Like, a, like take, for example, Varner's ghost. If everyone wanted to suddenly worship him as like the super ghost ancestor of piss and shit. If enough people did it, he would become, for real, like the god of piss and shit levers. Right? Holy hell. Let's see. Overview of gods and worship. Here we go. Yeah. Whoops. Also hit my mic there with my pencil. But yeah, I thought it was really weird because I'm. we've seen this book so many times. 
Huh. Yeah, nonetheless, I guess good that we read it here. Right? Hmm. <laughs> it does... <laughs> you know, it does remind me of Pillars of Eternity, especially this bit here of... of them coming up with the... the idea that, like, Maybe the reason why the gods and stuff don't help us during these times of struggle, during like times of famine, famine or just mortal suffering in general, is because we can't even comprehend what their their line of thinking, right? That it's beyond us. If if that sort of thinking in like a fantasy setting is interesting or exciting to you, I would I would just say look into maybe trying Pillars of Eternity one and two. <laughs> Because it it goes pretty heavy into some stuff like that. <laughs> Not exactly, but I would say look into it. I think it's on sale right now, too. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> man, someone should pay me for that. <laughs> okay, well, when next we come back, like I said, we'll continue with our good friend Gordon here exploring the crypt, the abandoned crypt, and then we will head on out to turn in our magnificent quest. Right? Until next time, please take care of each other. Bye.